I will be working to build your case. Okay? You don't have to choose a side in the sense do you think it was, do you think this message was mainly propaganda or was it mainly education? And you're going to build your case, finding evidence, explaining it, and analyzing it. And you have space on page three to be doing that. Okay, and it's very clear um, instructions on what you should be writing and how you should be going about doing that. Right above on that page. You only need to find two pieces of evidence in that 15 minutes. Now, why? That might sound like not that much, actually, because you have 15 minutes. It's a good amount of time. The reason is because I really want you to find the best evidence you can and take your time thinking about it and explaining it really persuasively. Okay, so that because after that 15 minutes, we're going to bring it back and have what I'm, what I'm calling like a mini seminar. Not a full period Socratic seminar where we really get to explore the question in a lot of depth, but like a mini seminar where you're going to come back with your partner and one partner at a time, whole group, will be participating in the discussion and bringing your evidence and then your case to us. Okay, so you can think of yourself like a lawyer in this period. Um, one question I really want you to think about as you're looking for evidence is does that, how does the evidence connect to one of those characteristics of education or propaganda. If you flip back to page two, right here in this, in this box, the same chart that you used for your do now when you were thinking about the dream big values, you can, you're going to use these characteristics as well to guide you towards whether or not old, message, old major's message is propaganda or education. Okay, so these are some typical characteristics. Not all of them. Some of you guys came up with other ways that the dream you got is propaganda. Right, but these are some characteristics. Also you have there an example of a response using evidence and explaining it. Okay, you can refer back to that example as well as you're working to see what you should be shooting for. Questions at this point. So Cache, what are we doing for 15 minutes? Um, we have to. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay. Damien? <laughs> what are we doing? For, what was our goal at the, at the end of that, during that meeting? What we're going to do is build our case for the end question, and we're going to use two pieces of evidence, and basically call for any two folks that explain what we're going to And then we're going to have to think how is it relevant to which side we're going to explain it. Good. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, what I should see is, once we go, is your book out, right? Obviously, you need your text, right? You can annotate, you want to annotate directly into the text, and you should be kind of flipping back and forth between page two and page three, so you can use the characteristics to kind of guide you, but also be finding that evidence, explaining and analyzing. And I'll just give you, I'll give you time reminders over the course of 15 minutes, so you know about where you should be with your partner. Okay. Any other questions? Come on. I need a book. You can get a book. Um, okay. Anybody else in one situation doesn't have a book? Okay. So I'll get you guys to. Any other questions? Uh, okay. Um, Diana, can you come sit up here? Then. Oh, yes, you go ahead. Last question. Okay, so good point. So there's a on the page where you'll be taking notes and you'll be building your case, there's page numbers there that you should focus on. Okay, so I would go back to the you want to go back to those pages and focus on those pages. Um, also your partner, if you were on the if you were on the film trip last night, hopefully your partner could do more support and point you towards evidence. Okay? Okay. 15 minutes, go. You want to make sure you tell us the page number as well, so we can open up, and we can annotate our own text and underline that part, so we can be building our own notes. Okay, and if you're not speaking with it, on page four, you have some space there where you're supporting your partner. Okay, you're adding in notes, writing in questions, and you're supporting your partner. Okay, questions?
Yes, sir. You're right. You are where you are, though. So I apologize for that. It was not a personal attack. Um, can I get eyes up here, please? Three, two, and one. See this square here? Well, imagine there's an imaginary square right here. Okay. Everybody on this side of the square, you're going to be turned and facing in towards the middle. Okay, towards this area. So we're all kind of facing each other. We're not going to move all of our desks around because it takes too long. But just tilt a little bit so you can face in towards the middle. Okay. Go ahead. Three. I'm oh, sorry. I'll give you ten seconds. Go ahead and turn. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Nine. Six. We're turning, guys. We're turning a little bit. Five. So you're facing here. Four. Three, yeah, you guys can Two, and you can yeah, you can One, I bet you turn on. Okay. So, our green folks, our green folks, who would like to start us off in responding to this question? Okay, Emily, we're tracking Emily, go ahead. Sorry, Emily, can you pause one second? Just give us a moment to find the page, like five seconds to open to that page, and then you can read us your book. Go ahead. Nice and loud, and everybody's opening to that page that you read. Third thing, 
I'm passing back to you. A nice reading homework. Chapter two. Yeah, we're passing up chapter one reading homework, and we're passing up illicit with Amima. Okay. And I'm passing back to you chapter two homework. Make sure this makes it into your pen class. Okay, along with your packet from today. And we'll be continuing this conversation around figuring out the difference between propaganda and education as we move through animal farm. So once you receive the homework, you can start packing up.